Hey what's up gamers, in today's video I'm gonna tell you guys the new Free Fire sensitivity settings that I'm using in the year 2023. I'll also be doing a giveaway in this video so make sure to watch until the end of this video to know more details. So without wasting any more time, first let's start with the free look sensitivity. Now guys the free look sensitivity is not that important but the free look button is very important. If you guys haven't turned on the free look button, you will have to jump and slide the screen to see what's around you. But if you turn on the free look button, you can slide the free look button while running to see what's around you so i highly recommend that you turn on the free look button now if you're a beginner and you don't know how to turn on the free look button here's how to do it first go to your in-game settings then go to controls then go to the assistance bar and then turn on the free look button now as i said earlier the free look sensitivity is not that important so you can keep it at any amount you want personally i keep it at 100 the next sensitivity setting that i want to talk about is the sniper scope sensitivity now if you keep the sniper scope sensitivity very low it will be very hard to bring the scope towards the enemy and by the time you bring the scope towards the enemy the enemy could have easily taken you down but let's say you increase the sniper scope sensitivity too much for example let's say that you increased it up to 100 it can be easier to bring it towards the enemy but it can be a bit hard to accurately bring the scope towards the enemy's head that's because since the sensitivity is too much it can feel like it's a bit slippery so the sensitivity that i recommend for the sniper scope is to keep it between 40 to 50. if you feel like the sensitivity is too much for you just reduce it a little bit and if you feel like the sensitivity is not enough for you just increase it a little bit now let's get on to the 2x scope and 4x scope sensitivities if you are a beginner here's what the 2x scope looks like and here's what the 4x scope looks like the sensitivity that i recommend for the 2x scope and the 4x scope is 100 now before i tell you guys the red dot sensitivity let's talk more about the giveaway this time i'm giving away two amazing items to five lucky winners the first item that i'm giving away is this thunder electrified bundle here's an overall look of this bundle two things that i really love about this bundle is first the electricity that's flowing through the arms of this bundle and second the hair of this bundle now the second thing that i'm giving away is this lightning eye face paint i think it goes really well with the thunder electrified bundle to enter the giveaway all you gotta do is comment down your in-game uid and also comment down your thoughts on these two items i'll personally select five lucky winners from the comment section of this video now let's move on to the red dot sensitivity now when it comes to the red dot sensitivity there's a lot of confusion in the free fire community on what really is the red dot sensitivity some say it is the sensitivity of the red dot scope and some say it is the sensitivity of the red dot that is in the crosshair and some say that it is the sensitivity of both of them but what i think is that it is the sensitivity of the red dot scope the reason that i say this is because if you reduce the red dot sensitivity up to zero and if you try to move the scope it will be much harder to move the scope and if you increase the red dot sensitivity and try to move the scope it will be much easier to move the scope but here's the thing i could be 100 percent right or i could be 100 percent wrong but my personal opinion on this thing is that i think it's the red dot scope sensitivity so the sensitivity that i recommend for the red dot sensitivity is 100 now let's move on to the most important sensitivity setting in free fire which is the general sensitivity increasing this sensitivity setting will help you to move the screen much faster so you can increase your glue wall speed and you can also increase the chance of you getting headshots the sensitivity that i recommend for the general sensitivity is 100 if you want to improve your gameplay in 2023 and if you want to go from a noob to a pro in free fire check out this video in here i tell you guys seven powerful and effective tips that can help you to improve your gameplay and help you become a pro player in free fire 